My name is Adam Barber. I'm a composer in Los Angeles, and this is my workshop. This is where I'm creative. I work in the production of music for cinema, television, commercials, independent bands, and most of my creativity is right here in the studio. People I've worked for in the past, I've assisted with Hans Zimmer, Danny Elfman. I've also worked for Christopher Young. Uh, a great collaboration of mine is with Jeff Lorber. I'm constantly working with him and learning from him also. One of my recent wonderful experiences was when I was scoring London Fields a few years ago. I got to work with Oscar winner uh, Christopher Jenkins. He's a dub mixer. He's an amazing person and an amazing um, film mixer. Uh, this is, that's a little bit about me. This is my space. This is where the magic happens. And working for those people and working with those people, I've learned so much about creativity and how to integrate it and be efficient. And over the years, I've learned um, how to have, a, have a, an efficient creative process and how important um, the workflow can be. And RME is the foundation of my workflow. Without it, I, I wouldn't be able to creatively um, accomplish what I want quickly and efficiently. Um, I have uh, a bunch of their uh, converters and devices for routing audio and digital um, workflow, analog or digital. And I brought that um, for recording, for stems, for uh, my laybacks, and just, uh, just um, in general, everyday uh, work. It's, they're just an amazing company. I first heard about the company working for Hans Zimmer. That's when I became familiar with them. And ever since then, watching how he worked and how he incorporated digital technology with his compositional workflow and real instruments and sense, I was like, that's, that's what I want to do. And so ever since that experience, and then working with other people, I'm learning more about uh, digital technology and how it's evolved. Um, uh, I'm just excited to have the ability to buy this equipment and integrate it into my workflow setup. It's, it's just amazing. Some of the stuff I have in my studio is uh, Matty Face XT. And that's basically the backbone of my studio. And that really is how I route my audio uh, around the studio. And I also integrate a Dante network and Matty with that. And with those three pieces, I'm able to basically record live vocalists, instrumentalists. I have an electronics area in my studio. And then I have my main writing rig, which is behind me. And that's where I have Pro Tools, and my main interface is Logic. And I have Pro Tools mainly as a video playback and stemming rig, so I can monitor as picture comes in, I can put the picture up there, and I can conform, I can see how picture has changed, so I'm able to put in multiple pictures into Pro Tools, and then sync it up to Logic, and when I hit play in Logic, I'm able to watch what I'm doing in Pro Tools as well as mix and stem at the same time when I need to for particular scenes. So this is me sitting in my primary position in front of my DAW Logic Pro, working away. And I have basically two other positions in the studio. Uh, this is, I call this position two, keyboard, synths, some mic pre's over here. And then the position three is another live position right here I, for singers, instrumentalists coming in, and drums. And all this stuff, all the routing, all the, all the analog input, output, it goes into over here into this, my, basically my machine rack. So one of the big developments that I've seen from RME has been their uh, embracing of ABB and Dante. And that's, neither here nor there, I think they're both great technologies. For me, I've, I've just incorporated their Dante side, which is the Digiface Dante. And how I've incorporated into the Mattyface XT is the third Mattyface input, I take out 
and I send it into and return from the Digiface Dante. And that's, that's my Dante network. And what's been great is that allows me to expand this creative space into a larger context, into other rooms uh, around me. So now in here, it's a fairly nice little workshop, creative space, compositional area. But if I wanted to have a quartet or a larger ensemble, it's not really conducive to be in here. In this room, I've recorded a ton of stuff. I, I, I have a drum set right here. I'll record drums, I have keyboards. I'll bring in um, instrumentalists, uh, a single or a double, um, and I'll maximize this space. But if I wanna have a larger ensemble, I need a larger space. And what RME has allowed me to do is basically use this as a control room and then take something, an example would be their new offering, which looks great, I've just been checking it out, the, uh, the 12 mic, which is a 12 mic pre-interface. I can just take that and put that in another space, a larger space, and I can sit in here and I can record from that. And what I'll do, how I connect it, is another Digiface Dante. I'll actually, right now I've been um, messing with a 12 mic, uh, and it's been, it's been really exciting. So I'll set it up, and then I'm going out, Maddie, into the Digiface Dante, and then the uh, Digiface Dante connects to my Ethernet, and then that routes back to here the, for that day, which would be the control room, and then I can send a headphone mix, and I can send what I'm recording back here, I can bring it into Logic, and at the same time, I can be doing a rough mix and stemming or putting, sending it to groups in Pro Tools. And with all those things, that's kind of the main concept of my studio. It's um, how to make technology uh, not be hindrance, but enhance the creative process and let it work in the background. So once these things are set up, I kind of set them and forget them. And then it allows me to focus more on the instruments that are around me. Oh, I'm, I have a keyboard over here. I want to check this out. And it's up. Um, I have some drums over here. I'm going to just lay down a, a little idea. I'm not a drummer, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to put down. So I'm going to, I'm going to record drums in the Logic now. And then once I get into Logic, do a little mixing, put on some effects, do something, and then I'll print that to Pro Tools. And all of this just allows me just to really quickly move around the studio in creative zones. And that's the other concept of my creative space is I have these zones. And again, that's where RME comes into, um, uh, comes into play. Uh, not only do I have the, the Matty Face XT, which is this, this large channel count interface, but how I run audio around the space, uh, RME has really helped me in, in that concept too. So, over in this area, I have the uh, Ferrofish A32 Dante. So it's a 32 channel, well, it's, it's actually 64 channels, but it has 32 analog. It's got ADAT, it's, it has MADI, and then it has Dante. It's, it's this really great, just uh, another Swiss army knife type of tool that I plug everything into, and then I plug it into my Dante network, and in the Dante software, I just route it back to my Digiface Dante. And so I have all this just always sitting here, ready to go. I have a, a Waldorf Q, a, a Nord Electro, uh, some, some other peripherals, uh, a, a piano, bass, Fender Rhodes, um, an Oberheim Expander, and anything I want to integrate, there's just room over here to patch in. And then it's already routed, or I can route it really quickly in the Dante software. And then that's automatically going into Logic, and I can just get up and go, and I can just leave it patched in like that, and it's, it's really creatively freeing for me to do that. And then I have like another zone over here. Uh, this is kind of, kind of what I call the live zone. So over here we have like a keyboard zone, and then over here we have a, a live zone. And typically I'll have a live instrumentalist come over here. So whether it's uh, double bass, um, or a wind player, or right now I have a drum set, 
Um, and right now I also have the 12 mic pre set up and I'm checking it out and I've, I've mic'd this drum set and basically have it set up here in this live zone. The 12 mic pre in this circumstance is again going into the Digiface Dante connecting Ethernet into my Dante network and bang it comes up uh, on my Matty Face XT and I'm just able to integrate it once it's set up in the routing it's just ready to go and I can just write creatively at Logic do what I need to on, on the keyboards if I want to add something and I can just pop over here on the drums and just hit record check the input I'm ready to go and I also have a headphone mix that I'm sending from Logic that comes up on the uh, Digiface Dante. It has a nice little stereo headphone out and I'm controlling it actually with a Surface Pro 7. Uh, the software, the um, Total Mix software comes up on it. It's, I have it, the Surface Pro 7 basically plugged in USB into the Digiface Dante and then you see Total Mix and that allows me to do all the routing to and from the Dante network. So it's really a great, it's been for me creatively uh, a, a great way to work. And all this sounds, all this routing and mixing and you know all these little things, they're, it sounds really complicated, it's not. They're simple ideas, there's great tutorials online um, uh, that RME has that talks about Total Mix and their interfaces. Uh, how I integrate them is, has been just wonderful. I don't want, uh, there's a lot of great converters on the market. I'm not looking for uh, anything with crazy DSP or anything. I'm literally just looking for input and output and how to route it into Logic so I can be creative. And I don't really want to worry about um, plugins and stuff on my interfaces or DSP on my interface. Uh, Army, the interfaces, some of them actually do have little DSP. They have some, uh, Total Mix has uh, an EQ, they have reverb, um, there's a compressor. The Matty Face actually has a, a, a nice little compressor for live situations or if you want to tweak something softly on the input. Uh, EQ and a couple, of other, a couple of other little handy things. Reverb's also nice. Uh, one thing I will use the reverb on the Matty Face XT for is when I'm recording a vocalist um, and I want to do a direct out. I'll set up over here in my live area. I'll have a vocalist right here. And I'll uh, use the reverb from Total Mix. It's just nice and convenient. And then I'll do a direct out signal. I'll make it a little wet. And I'll give the vocalist exactly what she needs. And in Total Mix also, I'll give her a nice little headphone mix. And another great component for me working around in Total Mix that I think is kind of vital if you have a, if you have a, a larger interface like uh, the 12 mic, which has MADI on it, or any of the MADI interfaces, uh, the ARC USB is a great uh, component uh, to control it. On the ARC USB, it's, I look at it basically as a volume control, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's basically a USB controller for total mix, and it has 12 buttons on it? I think it's 12 buttons. Um, for different presets in Total Mix. And I've set up my different presets for quick click checking of different, different points of my creative process. So my first preset is Logic. I listen to a stereo output from the Matty Face XT. It comes up on my mains. And then I have the volume control. It has mono on the Arc USB. It has dim and then just a general volume. If I want to set it up for surround, I group the outputs together. It's really simple to do in Total Mix. And then I'm using the volume knob, and it moves all those, all those output faders together. Uh, the next preset I use on the Arc USB is for listening to my sends to Pro Tools. So when I'm, when I'm creating, and I want to check what I'm sending to Pro Tools, I just tap a button, and the routing configuration changes. So preset one, I'm listening to Logic. Preset two, I'm listening to what I'm sending to Pro Tools so I can make sure I'm sending what I'm hearing in Logic. And then I have a third preset 
which is the returns from Pro Tools. So I have three places where I'm checking uh, my input and output in the Matty face and my creative process in Logic Pro. First one is in Logic, checking, uh, listening, being creative. And then when I'm stemming and printing my groups, I um, go to the second preset, see what I'm sending, make sure I'm hearing what I want to have printed. And then the third is listening back to the return and making sure that it was actually printed. So it'd be like, um, it'd be an image of what I hear in preset one, which is logic. And that's, that's how um, that sound should be coming out. What I hear in logic on preset one should be the same as preset three. And uh, the arc USB basically allows me to go through those routing uh, matrix matrices really quickly and efficiently. And so that's like another great thing by Army that I've integrated into my setup. The arc USB pulls it all together and really makes it seamless for me with the presets and uh, just being able to have it on my right hand and manipulate it and then manipulate total mix at the same time. Uh, I have a mobile rig uh, which incorporates the Babyface Pro, which has Maddie on it too, and has some mic prees. I recently went on a trip. I have a, a backpack, and it's great. Laptop in the backpack, a couple mics in the backpack, and the Babyface Pro, and it's a powerful little setup. Whether I'm on the road going to a dub stage for a mix and I'm just doing music editing stuff, it's a great little interface, or I'm on the road and I'm working with an artist, which I recently did in Florida, a uh, singer-songwriter. That was another great experience. Had my, had my mics, had my Babyface Pro, Pro Tools, um, Ultimate, the Babyface Pro connected USB, and we were off to the races. And I just set up my mics. Uh, he brought some mic stands. I didn't want to carry those with me on the plane. And we had a nice, weekend recording session at his place and it was phenomenal just to be able to have the mobility of a small concise interface that fits in your backpack and uh, you, I put it in the overhead it was great so over here we have the uh, 12 mic pre um, or RME 12 mic and when I first saw this I immediately thought drums because I've been uh, working with Jeff Lorber a lot and over at his place we're always doing drums and um, we typically have 10, 10 mic positions on the drum kit and as soon as this came out I was like oh, I, I really want to integrate that into my setup and uh, I'm going to put that on drums so I put together a little drum kit here uh, I've integrated this into my Dante network through the Digiface Dante and how I'm doing that is basically the mics go into here into the pre's and then it comes out Maddie into here and right now I'm going out um, Maddie coax and then I have an Ethernet cable and that goes to my uh, Dante network and that goes into Logic which then also gets stemmed out to Pro Tools and I've integrated this little Surface Pro 7 here which is great because USB comes out, plugs right into the Digiface Dante, and I'm able to see what's going on here. So I'll just do that. So this is going to be, when I have this all finished, finalized, and set up, these will be my drums. I'll be able to see them come up here. And um, this isn't actually the 12 mic pre. You're actually seeing total mix of what's in here in this in this device, the Digiface Dante. And right now. I'm sending a click and a stereo stem into here for headphones. I've plugged in my headphones right here into the back and I'm getting a signal. Let's check that out. Let's see. There we go. So we can see we have a stereo feed and um, the click coming up. So let's go back a little bit. I'm going to bring up my stereo feed to my main, which is my headphones in this, in this situation. And then I'm also going to bring my click. I can hear the click already. Yeah. Uh, 
Another two little devices um, that I use in, uh, in how I move things around the studio really quick before I, before I write some stuff and work, sketch some things out. Um, so I have an iPad to my left over here. And on the iPad, um, I've set up, it's a, I work with Lemur. And on this one interface right here, I've also set up um, uh, OSC. So I can control basically the same functionality over here. So right now I'm just controlling volume. Well, I can do the same thing here. And I can control total mix also. And then it also is interactive. So if I move the arc USB, this is also moving back and forth. So whatever I do here is affected over there. Whatever I do here with the arc USB is also affected over here in this little section. So that's another piece of functionality uh, with the Army interfaces that I've really, really loved. I've, I've been able to design my own little lemur interface um, and include what I needed with their hardware on this little space. So I have um, a way to manipulate MIDI data, um, a way to manipulate my click headphone sends, and then a way to manipulate basically overall settings and whatnot. And then in addition, I have other little, other little things I've created that help me in the studio. Over here, basically have, um, this is like a little string um, key switching UAC palette that I've created. I'm just going to put it over here so you can kind of see what's going on with that. And these are all just little like little devices I've created to and implemented that help me just uh, help the creative workflow so um, I can just move along and um, not worry about uh, the technology. Once it's set up it just all works and I'm able to just creatively just kind of flow around the room and do what I want. Um, right now um, I'm, uh, I've created like a drone and so I'm just going to kind of uh, manipulate some stuff and create some sounds and, and work through this little piece. I, wanna, I think I want to create something kind of ominous and see what I got going on here. So let's see. So right now, I'm incorporating things from VE Pro. That's coming from a sampler. I'm playing my synths. Those come into my Matty face. And I'm also going to play my keyboards in a second. So I'm just kind of, in this, this example, the point of this is just to show you that this is a true hybrid setup. I have computer samplers going. I have outboard gear going and instruments. So I'm going to turn down that sound. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. So right now Pro Tools is in sync with Logic. I'm sending out Logic through the Matty face, going to Pro Tools, and I'm just stemming 32 wide right now, just making it simple. It's just a basic palette. And I'm going to come over here and
so that's just kind of like a little bit of my process. So um, that's just like an I idea. I'll come in, I'll sit down, and I'll think of an idea, and I'll let that idea grow creatively. And I'm just letting the hardware work transparently in the background. I'll sit down at Logic. I'll typically I'll start with a piano. Um, and then I'll let the ideas grow and evolve from there. And if I want to check it with headphones, I have an easy headphone out from the uh, Matty Face XT, which is I just run a little um, headphone extender from the rack, bring it right over here. I got some open ear, open ear headphones right here. And this is uh, generally what I'll listen to back on. There we go, just pulled it out really fast. And uh, I'll check it on my headphones. I'll play it over um, the mains. Or if I'm recording, what I'll do is I'll mute my main speakers and I'll just quickly come over here, put that down, and I'll still have signal going to the, um, if I'm recording with an artist, I'll have signal uh, going to the headphones for them. So I can still record in here in my same space um, and not have to worry about uh, isolation or anything. It's so, I, I'm able to do a lot of different things um, in this hybrid situation and RME allows me uh, to creatively just function, get around efficiently, um, whether it's um, virtual, with my samples, samplers, plugins, DAW, uh, hardware, um, which is plugged in direct and everything's up and ready to play. Or if I bring in an artist and I want to have um, a recording, a live recording situation, um, whether it's drums, bass, strings. And then now with the Digiface Dante, um, it's just exploded uh, the opportunity for me to grow outside of this space right here, which is really just a writing room. Uh, that's why I call it a workshop. This is where um, I just put down my ideas, uh, create them, form them, finish them, and send them off to other places. But now, um, with the Digiface Dante, that expands me outside of this writing room and makes this a control room. And now I can basically take something like the uh, RME 12 mic, uh, set that up in another space um, here on the property and record, you know, probably up to 16 players if I wanted to. And I'm really excited about um, uh, evolving in that direction, just working from home in these crazy wacky times. Technology has allowed us to um, expand at us and enhance us to um, uh, basically do what I'm doing here um, at home, in your own private spaces, and that's been a, a, a great, uh, a great um, integration that I've experienced with their using their interfaces. I just want to give a big shout out to RME. I really appreciate uh, my collaboration with them. They've allowed me to share my thoughts on um, their gear, how I use it in my creative process. And, you know, this stuff, there's tutorials online. Reach out to RME, ask them questions. They have blogs, they have a, they have a, a great um, public forum. And uh, if you have questions about how to use their gear, some of it might be overwhelming. I'm always happy to share, um, consult about their technology and how it's made my creative process better. I hope that was enjoyable and awesome for you. This was a quick preview of this um, organized chaos, was what I like to call it sometimes. Um, basically my workshop and where I love to create. It's all possible because of how I've created it around the Army technology, being the Mattyface XT, the Digiface Dante, and the Ferrofish uh, A32 Dante. It just it just works seamlessly in the background while it allows me to implement um, uh, scenarios for recording live uh, instruments, vocalist, drums, my electronic um, outboard gear, synths, 
and it, it allows me to integrate my um, my samplers too. So it's it's really just a space that I love to come create and work. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for sharing this time with me, and thank you to Army.